What's up guys and welcome back. Today's tutorial will be going over how to set up permissions. For today's tutorial we'll be using Permissions EX. Um, but before we get things moving you're going to actually need WinRAR as well as the Permissions EX download.zip as well as Notepad++ in order to achieve this and just pretty much overall make it easy on yourself. Now the link will be down in the description so you might want to click them and pause the video before we get started. Alright, so now that we downloaded all those, we're going to want to navigate to where we downloaded our permissions ex.zip. And you're just going to want to open that up. For this tutorial, we'll be using the modify world.jar and the permissions ex.jar. It does come bundled with a chat manager, but I prefer Essentials Chat over the chat manager that comes bundled with this. Once you have them located, you're going to want to open up your server, go into your plugins, drag and drop the permissions ex and the modified world in there. Then you're going to want to back up, start up your server. Once that's done loading, you just want to issue the stop command. We only started the server so that now it has generated the files and we can get in here and manually edit them. Real quick, I almost overlooked the step that a lot of people in the tutorials forget to mention. What you're going to want to do is open up Notepad++. You're then going to want to go into settings preferences then scroll over to the language menu slash tab settings then you're just going to want to make sure this replace by space box is checked once that's done you can go ahead and close out of there then we'll actually go in here and open up the server um, the first thing you're going to want to do is open the modify world config do so by right clicking it now edit with notepad plus plus once in here enable will be set to false you will need to set that to true you can then edit these Whereas um, if somebody didn't have permission to build, you could change the message they would receive in game. Once you're done with that, simply go there and click save. Then you can back out of there, and then we'll jump into permissions. In this video, we'll be editing the permissions.yml, and we won't be messing with the config.yml. Alright, so next we'll be editing the permissions.yml file folder. Uh, again, edit with notepad++. Um, and here we'll be defining our groups. Like on first join, somebody will be defined as default. As you can see here, set to true so that on join they would be the default group. <clears throat> but we're going to need to adjust this a little bit to fit our needs. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the end of this true and simply click enter. Once uh, we click the enter button, the next thing we're going to want to type on this line is options. After that, simply click enter again. Then you're going to want to give two space. Then you're going to click type in rank. And the rank for this group we're going to set to 1000. With the little, just like you see it there. Next, we're going to set a prefix for this group. After clicking enter, you're going to want to backspace twice. And then type in prefix, semicolon, space the little hash mark and for this we'll use and seven so that they have like a white color chat the frowny face looking thing uh, another and seven you can use any colors that you prefer um, actually for this video I think what we'll do is we will go ahead and make make it so that they are blue and we can define you know be able to tell who's who and make sure that it worked out properly when we start the server and we'll go ahead and title them as guest. Um, at the end here, we need another. This time we need an and zero. Then we need a smiley face looking thing. Then we need another and seven here. And then a space and then another little hash mark. And I believe that is all we need for this group. Next, to make things easy on ourselves, we're going to set up a members group. But what we're going to do is click up here by the default, scroll down and highlight all of this. Um, actually, I made a mistake. You're going to want to modify this. You do not want your first-time joiners to be able to build. At least I don't, in my opinion. So we're going to do modify world dot chat. So the only thing they can do is chat. They can't break any blocks. They can't place blocks. Um, I'm not even sure if they're able to sprint with this. So now that we have that, we'll go back up here. 
and we're going to highlight all the way to the end of chat. Simply copy it, get down here, click enter, backspace twice, and then we're just going to simply paste it in. First thing we're going to want to do is edit the title. We will make this group a member. Do so by typing in member like that. Then we're going to need to get rid of this line of code. So go to the end of the E, just continue to backspace all the way till it goes back up to member. Um, and here we need to adjust the rank. It has to be lower than 1000. We will just set it to 999 for this video purpose. Um, then back in here we can then again edit our prefix. Um, this time we'll change this to a zero. Um, the end one, I think we'll go with gold for the member name. Uh, then simply backspace this out. Type in the word member. And then at the end, and seven, that looks right. Now we want them to be able to build and do whatever they would like in here. So here we will just change the modify world to dot star. And again, once we're done with that, we'll just simply go up behind the M on member, highlight all of this, copy, click enter, backspace twice again, and then we will just simply paste this in. Now that we have that, we will make this our admin group. So, just type in admin. Rank, you're going to want to set their rank to zero, so that if you do set up other user groups, uh, your moderators and stuff won't be able to rank themselves or other players up to the admin group. That's just the way PEX works. Um, for this group, we're going to make our name red so that we can identify ourselves. Um, we don't have any other permissions installed, so we would just leave it at this. Simply come up here, click save, and then we can go ahead and exit out of this. Take a quick pause so I can get a quick drink, and I'll be back, and we'll start the server up and show that it works. Alright, I'm back. One thing I forgot to mention was that since I'm not using a chat manager, I am actually not going to be able to see the color chat, and neither will you. Um, once we, The next video I do, I'll probably go over how to install Essentials and how to set it up. And uh, then our chat colors will show up, but for the time being, they're not going to show up, and I apologize for that. Um, just be sure to leave the prefix in there so that when you do install a chat plugin, um, you know you already have that set up. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get into the game. Um, for those of you that are wondering, yes, I do have a hat client on. Um, I use a hat client to identify x-ray and whatnot on here. Let me turn this off real quick. <clears throat> okay, so right now we should be ranked in the default group. We should not be able to break any blocks. I actually have myself set in creative mode from when I was messing around the other day. But as you can see, even outside of the spawn area, we cannot break blocks. And to go ahead and rank ourselves up, what we're going to want to do is type in here, PEX user, I'm just, I'm just too cold, group set member. As you can see, it says in the council that our user group was set. Now when we go back into the game, we should be able to break blocks. And as you can see, we can break blocks. Um, next, we are going to want to give ourselves admin, of course, PEX user, I'm just too cold, which is kind of useless at this point, but nonetheless, we'll set ourselves to admin. So we're admin now. Um, you won't be able to use the game mode or anything because we don't have essentials or anything installed yet with permissions set up. So unfortunately, this video was just basically to get you to set up get you set up and running on permissions and get a general overview on how to set it up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or you'd like me to go more into detail or you'd like um, you know, me to basically show you guys what my config file looks like for the actual server that I host, um, drop a comment below and let me know. Like I said, this wraps the video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned. This has been Too Cold and I'm out. Peace.